This video shows how to connect and configure the Delta DTB controller for PID temperature control using a thermocouple input and pulsed voltage output to drive a solid state relay. The solid state relay controls a device such as a heater. This video assumes the user has a working knowledge of the DTB and its programming. See other DTB videos and application notes for further information on DTB operation. The temperature in the system shown is maintained by the DTB using a thermocouple, a solid state relay, and a heater. The thermocouple provides a temperature reading to the DTB. Based on this reading, the DTB will trigger a pulsed output to a solid state relay which will energize the heating coil. A solid state relay is recommended due to the frequent on off pulses the relay will receive from the DTB. The DTB uses the PID calculations to determine the on-off ratio of the output in order to maintain a set temperature. This example uses a DTB 4848VR. Connect a solid state relay to output terminals 1 and 2. Connect the thermocouple to terminals 4 and 5. Connect the incoming AC power to terminals 11 and 12. To program the DTB for PID control, go to the initial setup mode. Set the input for K-type thermocouple. Set the temperature units to Fahrenheit. Set the control mode to PID. Go to the operation mode. Set the decimal point precision to 1. Set the run stop mode to run. Go to the regulation mode. The heating period is set to 4 seconds by default. This is the length of time for the on off cycle to the solid state relay. The auto tuning is set to on. When auto tune is enabled, the DTB begins auto tuning. When auto tuning is complete, the controller goes into PID mode using the tuning parameters calculated. This concludes the wiring and configuration for PID heat control with a Delta DTB controller. For application notes and videos on the Delta controllers, visit our knowledge base.